Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we are making my second in a series of 2016 Christmas card ideas. And this is a super cute card using the cookie cutter Christmas bundle. Here's that precious little punch that goes along with this, as well as the cookie cutter Halloween that I've been using quite a bit. So let's look at the paper that we're going to need to get started. Okay, so I'm using a base of Very Vanilla, and I cut it at five and a half by eight and a half and folded it there. Yeah, five and a half by eight and a half and folded it in half. Okay, and then I have some of the This Christmas Specialty Paper that's in the annual catalog. This piece is cut at four, four by five and a quarter. And then I have two more little strips here of that same designer paper. This is cut at one inch by four inches. This one at three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters inches. And then I have a piece of the Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer paper. This one's cut at one half inch by three and a half inches. And then I have some scrap very vanilla that I'm going to use to stamp the sentiment. And the sentiment is going to be this Ho 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 from the Oh What Fun set. This is also in the annual catalog, whereas the cookie cutter uh, set, the bundle, is in the holiday catalog. Okay, let's get started. I don't need the base yet. We're going to start building up on this designer paper layer. But first, I want to punch these ends to make them a little banner. So I'm taking my triple banner punch. I'm going to open that up. And you can slide it in here by centering that, but I like to look back here, and I just want a little bit cut off that edge, so I'm going to punch there. And then the same with this. And then again with this one, the one inch. And that one I can slide through the front because that's a one inch guide there. And I'm going to point out that, you know, this these music notes, you know, have directionality up and down and, you know, left to right. So I want the right end punched, so that's why I'm trying to be careful when I'm cutting and punching those papers with directionality. Okay, so let's see what we can do next. I think we can go ahead and mount them on this designer paper. So let's see how we want to do it. And I just kind of play with it until I get it that's pleasing to the eye. Kind of overlap that. I like these music notes. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to switch and put that at the bottom since the majority of the notes are there. And then here come in the middle like that. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's go ahead and put the music notes down first. Put a little bit of liquid glue. And let's see, I'm coming up about one inch from the bottom, maybe an inch and a quarter. Just eyeball it. Okay, next I'm going to go over, just overlap just a little bit with this little diagonal stripe. And I'm lining it up with the edge of this designer paper base. And now let's take the glimmer paper and apply that in the center, just like that. Okay, so now I'm wanting to put my little Santa Claus on. Now, I've already stamped, punched, and colored this. And I'll refer you to a previous uh, post where I show you how to easily color this with a great paper, uh, our shimmery white paper. So be sure and you look at that video here at this post. And I want a backing behind him. I want just something to make it um, separate it from those banner pieces. So I have this um, fancy foil, I believe it's called. Yeah, Fancy Foil Acetate. It's in the, the 
annual catalog and it's gold metallic gold on one side and you turn it on the other side it, it looks silver so you have you know two and one there and I have cut this out with one of my layering circles it's about the two inch one and I found that the thinlets the, the framelets cut better than punching through this thick acetate I just have better luck with it okay so I'm gonna put that behind Santa just to give him a little bit of polka dot fun behind him and so that my adhesive won't show I'm gonna use a glue dot right in the middle of the circle just like that and that's stuck there and I want to come over here to the right side of these banner pieces because I'm going to be tying some twine over here on this side all right let's go ahead and use some glue dots on Santa and just position him like that okay so now we're going to bring in the colors a little more as well as the red the the gold metallic that's on that fancy acetate and I'm going to just take all three strands of this uh, twine trio it's cherry cobbler garden green and the metallic gold and I'm going to try to leave it on my spools as I tie it around this top layer and I'm just going to do a simple knot so let me get those together okay and now I see how long I need it and I'm going to give myself plenty of room to tie it so I'm going to set that down and then just run over here and snip that and now easy peasy we can tie this this twine really adds a lot to the project I love that Stampin' Up! is offering us so many different options in color and even in texture with the thickness varying in some and then with the gold metallic um, added in it's just really pretty and and it doesn't add a lot of bulk to your cards when you go to mail them like you do for Christmas okay so let me just bring this around and tie a knot just like that and I don't want to pull it too tight don't want it to bend the paper I like to spread it a little bit then I tighten it and then I take my strands here and pull them together and just pull them down like this kind of like you're fixing a ponytail <laughs> okay so now let's trim some of this off like that super cute all right let's do our sentiment I have very vanilla and the ho 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 on here I'm gonna lay this sometimes your photopolymer will bend when you apply it to the block if you're not careful so I like to set mine down then stick my block over it like that and pick it up okay cherry cobbler marker or you can use cherry cobbler ink pad and really you could use real red as well it goes okay with this all right you can see I used real red on this sample one okay the difference the cherry cobbler is a deeper deeper red well it's a cherry cherry color there's ho 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 and here we have this classic label punch we can center the ho 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 punch it out and let's just go ahead and apply that and then we're going to be ready to go now on this one I'm not going to have a sentiment on the inside I'm just going to leave it plain the very vanilla and then I can write a message on the inside I think this card would be super cute for families who have children that are awaiting Santa Claus so anyway we can do this and let's go ahead and use our Tombow glue and just center it just like that you can see I 
kind of walked that out of place. And since I used the Tombow glue, I was able to adjust. Very forgiving. Okay, there's our card for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, please visit my website at inkandinspirations.com for details on this card where you can download the PDF with the project details and uh, supply listing. So take care and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.